It was time for another road trip, and this time I was headed to Flint, Michigan, which is northwest of Detroit. I was hoping to finally get to go to the Goodwill outlet store I had heard so much about. The thing that's special about the outlet stores is that everything is in large bins, and so you hunt for your treasures. And items are not priced individually. Instead, everything is weighed upon checkout, so you can hopefully get some really good deals. Since it was a Saturday, I didn't check whether or not the store was open. That was my first mistake. Unfortunately, the outlet store is not open on Saturday. So since we had already arrived in Flint, Michigan, we looked for another thrift store to visit. Our first stop was the Salvation Army thrift store on Dort Avenue in Flint. It was a very large, clean, and well-organized store. I first went to the furniture section, which was a little bit small, but prices were reasonable. Look at the colors on this lamp. I thought it would make a great painting project, but at $14.99 I passed. The store did have quite a bit of clothing and my daughter did enjoy looking through all the racks. There were a few nice vintage purses too. But I headed towards Home Goods and first made a pit stop in their Christmas section. Loved this topiary, but at $6.99 the price was a little steep. So I continued my search and ended up in lighting and found my very first treasure. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out everything that I purchased while thrifting. The clear glass section was really good, although clear glass is just not selling for me. I was also positive there was depression glass, and even crystal mixed in, but I just didn't need any more of it at this time. In the home goods section, everything pretty much started at $3.99 and went up from there. Love to see the color organization once again at the Salvation Army. The big find at the Salvation Army was in their grab bags. I found so many grab bags to take home. There were a bunch of great dishes, too. and even plates if you don't like your food to touch. There were a lot of other cute items I found at the thrift store, but many were chipped or broken. 
it's always a good reminder, check it over. You don't want to purchase something that has a chip or a break. On to the green section. Lots of vintage items in this store. Well, I've never seen light up grapes before, but in case you need any, they were there. And everywhere I looked, there were more of those grab bags, including this bag that had vintage stamps with a whole bunch of geometric shapes. And what I thought was a vintage tape dispenser turned out to be Rubbermaid. Are you enjoying this video? If so, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Also click the bell for notifications every time I upload a new video. It really helps me to continue to grow my channel to help others to salvage, repurpose, and create. Even spotted this vintage movie camera with light. And I love this little dish that was made in Korea. So why do I go thrift shopping? Sure, I love to find the deal. I love to find things to stock my booth. But I also love to find things like this sign and the sumo warrior on a vase. Neither one went home with me but it's always an adventure to see what you can find at the thrift store. I will say I was surprised by the book selection. It was quite small and there were not any old books to be found. Our next stop was to find a Goodwill. We actually found the closest one was located in Burton, Michigan, which is right outside of Flint. It was kind of interesting because it was located inside the Cortland Center, which is a shopping mall. We were pleased to find out when we arrived that all clothing in the store was half off. That made my daughter very excited. We also discovered they just got in all of their Halloween items and fall. Now, at this Goodwill, I was told by the cashier that they get items from stores like Target and Kohl's. When they put out their new items, all the old items are sent to the store. Many were new, still in the box, and at great prices. And of course, I headed right to the housewares, where I discovered this. I thought the top plate was kind of cute, but I wanted to take a look at it and soon discovered it was all glued together. I am just not a fan of gluing a whole bunch of old plates together to make a flower. Prices at this Goodwill were excellent. Most items were a dollar or under two. Remember to stay tuned to the end of the video to see all of the treasures that I brought home. I love this little Washington DC bank with capital listed on the back. Probably should have gotten it for $2.99, but I decided to pass. Ah, the regrets from thrift store shopping. Thankfully, the book section at the Goodwill was much larger, but still no old books. As I mentioned, this Goodwill was actually located in a shopping mall and across the way is the public library. The home good textiles were amazing at the store. All were new, but in excellent shape, and what a selection. Soon it was time to leave and head for home. I 
have to admit that when we got to Flint, Michigan, I was disappointed that the Goodwill outlet store was closed. I have never heard of a thrift store being closed on a Saturday, but I know things are very different right now and staffing shortages are a real thing. And that's what I was told was the reason behind the Goodwill outlet store being closed. Hopefully I can plan another trip and actually get to check out this place that I've heard so much about. But I did find a lot of good treasures at the Salvation Army and the Goodwill store. There were so many good grab bags, I came home with a bunch of them. The first one I found at the store was this one for $2.99, which was the cheapest of all of the bags. Inside the bag, of course, is the statue that I spotted. The statue is made of plaster, and on the bottom in French it says autumn um, and I think this is a really good price for it. The bag also had a bunch of other goodies inside too for the price of $2.99 for everything. This next bag was $4.99, but there was something in here I could not pass up. There were plastic shower curtain rings, but that was not what I was looking for. There was also metal shower curtain rings. Both can be used in my booth at the antique mall to help me hang items. But the reason I bought this bag was for the hardware inside. It has a seaside feel and there are little fish and seahorses and all of the hardware. I can hardly wait until I find the perfect piece to add this hardware to. This next bag I got for $4.99 and it's a child set of pots. But just wait till I flip it over. This is why I got it. They are copper pots. So let's get them out of the bag and take a look. Extra bonus with these, they are measuring cups and they are in copper. Obviously they need a little cleaning, but for $4.99, I think that is a good deal too. In fact, I even hopped over to Etsy and was shocked by the listing. Please keep in mind, this is the listing price for a similar item and not what it is selling for. For more information on pricing items, you can check out my pricing video above, but I still think I found a really good deal. This is the next set. Once again, a lot of little containers. I wasn't exactly sure. This is very heavy. Originally thought it was pewter. I was told it's not, but let's see what we got. So for this set, we have some sort of a serving set. I don't know, do you think it goes together? It all seems to be the same metal. There's no markings on the bottom. So maybe you could use it for like condiments or jelly or jam. And then I have three measuring cups too, which I didn't even know were in there. That entire package was $3.99. This is the last bag and the most expensive. I paid $5.99 for just what I could glimpse through the corner here under the frogs. I think it's some sort of cross stitch and there's actually two of them and I kind of love those. So I'm hoping it's worth it. If you know me too, if you've watched my junk garden video, you know I love frogs. So I thought the frogs in the package were like a sign that there's lots of treasures inside. Let's see if I was right. So the question is, was it worth it? Well, I don't know about this picture frame. My daughter might enjoy it. It doesn't have a really high resale value. It does have a price tag though of $9.99 at Kohl's. So who knows? <laughs> uh, this I am so not crazy about, but there is a price tag there, but it's not even ceramic. It's some sort of composite. We have a broken picture frame. We also have a regular picture frame. It's very typical. 
And then these are what I was kind of risking it on. Um, I have no idea, they are old. You can tell from the back. Um, there is cross stitch and I like them a lot. I don't have much information as to the worth. $5.99 for the bag. So these are all the goodie bags that I got at the Salvation Army. How do you think I did? Which bag was the best value, do you think? Which was the worst? Which one do you like? This one with the cool knobs was $4.99 for everything in there. Back here, the least expensive at $2.99. The one with the copper pots, which are actually measuring cups, was $4.99. This one was $3.99, or this last set, which was the most expensive at $5.99, which contains two Cruel Work pictures, which I really like, but then it also had the broken frame. So let me know what you think, comment down below. Here are some more of my treasures. Most of these were purchased at Goodwill. Love this hand-painted Mexican bird. He was 99 cents. Couldn't pass him up. I think he'd be perfect for fall in my booth. This one was $3.99. These are made in Italy. They are vintage and in my area with the gold like this, they're very popular. Also has a really nice little mother saying, so I thought it was super cute. $3.99 there. I found this pheasant dish, which I believe is depression glass. Comment down below if you know. It was $2.99. I thought right now with fall and Thanksgiving, it's a perfect dish. I think it will also sell very well. I was really excited to find this piece. I've seen this pattern a lot and normally I cannot afford it and this time it was only 99 cents. It says USA on the back of it, but I thought it was a really pretty pattern. I also got this, I liked the luster on it. It was a little over the top every once in a while. I like something that's a little over the top. The price was not at 199. I'm curious to see, it looks like there's a mark under there. And this was my most favorite find of all. Check out what it does. And one more, it lights up. That's because actually it's a ceiling light, a vintage ceiling light that's been wired. Not sure why. I'm gonna put different bulbs in it. Um, I'm either gonna sell it as a ceiling fixture or I might even use it as a lighted display in my booth. What do you think I should do with it? Comment down below, let me know. I was quite pleased with all of my treasures. I actually had a lot of fun with those grab bags and flint. Kind of felt like a kid again. If you like any of the items you see here, they will be heading to my booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my thrift haul video. If you have any suggestions about where I should go in Michigan, comment down below. I'm always looking for new places. Now, get out there to salvage, repurpose, and create.